Let's go thrifting on the Rhode Island, Connecticut border. I went with my sister. We found some shops from Call Me Jessica's TikTok. First stop was Johnny Cakes. It's a nonprofit thrift store in an 8,000 square foot building. Yes, it was huge and it went on forever. Whenever I go to these stores, I always go to the sections that have paper products, sewing and ribbon items, and of course, books and board games. They had a lot of each. There's a 35 person limit in this store and they really take it seriously because at one point they announced there were 37 shoppers in the store. Keep that in mind because you may have to wait outside if the store gets too busy. The book and music room was the size of some thrift shops that I've been in. I couldn't believe how many there were. I spent most of my time looking at flower books, music and gardening books, vegetable, all that kind of stuff. Things for future junk journal kits. And they also, oh, and maps, of course. I love maps. Uh, I did get some, not as many as I probably would have if I lived local, but I did have to keep in mind, I only had so much room in my suitcases. There was a basket of doilies, which were really nice, but I left them behind. Most of the prices were really good, and this entire store is really well organized. It really makes shopping more enjoyable when it's so organized. I'll show you everything I got at the end, and one thing I forgot to photograph was my sister got an Irish knit sweater for only $15. Next stop was the Blue Mitten Thrift Shop. There was a sign on the outside door that said you are not supposed to take pictures or videos. And I'm such a nervous Nelly rule follower that I only took this quick selfie with a vegetable book that I found. Last stop of the day was the Mystic Woman's Club Thrift Shop. This is also a nonprofit run by ladies cash only so if you go there keep that in mind it was on the smaller side for sure but i did find a couple of books that um i purchased and they do have an ebay store if you aren't in the area so you can check it out so here i am going through everything so i can show you everything i decided to get i got a lot of books this accounting column paper tons of wallpaper and um, in addition, oh, I got the football program from 1959. That's really cool. I love that. And sheet music from Christmas songs. So we can do something with that. Stickers, games, index cards, cookbooks. Um, yeah, a lot of everything. And I'm really excited to see how I can use it in all the kits. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.